Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about relative frequency. Relative frequency tells us the proportion, or percent, the category occurs in the data. We express our relative frequencies as a fraction, a decimal, or a percentage of the total number. So if we think back to last week when we were starting to talk about our data, we used these tables, which we called two-way tables. Now we're going to be looking at the proportions to help us better talk about our data. So if we want to know the proportion of calm meditators and calm non-meditators, we can make a two-way table of relative frequencies, and then you can either make a bar graph with that or you can just talk about it using your table. So the way we do that, we're kind of just going to copy down our table again. So if we see right here, we have our two-way table already. And now I'm going to make a new two-way table. I have my total here. I have my total down here. I have agitated. I have calm. I have meditated. And non-meditated. Wow made a mistake. So if we think about that a little aside, something right now that you could do is meditate. That's a good way to practice self-care like I've been talking about. All right, so we have our new table where we have meditated, did not meditate, calm, and agitated. So just to remember what we were talking about again, we're trying to figure out the proportion of calm meditators and non-calm meditators. So a proportion means that you're going to be making a fraction. This down here is going to have a total, and this right here is going to be the number of times it happens. So if we're looking for the proportion of calm meditators and calm non-meditators, so this right here would be the number of times we have people that are calm, and the meditators would be our total. So we actually don't need this column over here because we are looking for our people that meditate, how many, what percent of them are calm, and what percent of people that did not meditate are calm. So the way we do that, we're gonna look at what was our percents. So we have, of the people that meditated, we had 68 total people that meditated and we had, so 68 people meditated out of 68. How many people were calm? Well, we know that right here. We had 45 people that were calm. So 45 is going to be on the top. And 68 is going to be on the bottom. So we had 45 people that were calm that meditated. Agitated similarly, would be 23 over 68, did not meditate. How many people were calm and did not meditate? Take a minute to think about that. Do you know how many people were calm, but they did not meditate? Awesome. I agree with eight. However, we have a new, new total for those people that did not meditate. Do you know what was the total number of people that did not meditate? Awesome, 29. We have 21 over 29. And then we have 29 over 29. So because we were looking at the people that were meditating, so we were looking at whether they were calm versus agitated, you can see that we have our percents right here. This would be 100%. This would be 100%. Just like when we were filling in our two-way tables, we want our data going down this way to add up to 100%, and this going down this way should add up to 100%. Similarly, if we're going across this way and we were looking at what percent or what proportion of meditators were calm, we would have 45 over 53. What percent of 
those that did not meditate were agitated, we would have 21 over 44. So right here, we can also make these into, whoops, we can make these in 2%. So 45 over 68 is 66%. 23 over 68, that is 34%. 8 over 29 is 28%. And 21 over 29 is 72%. So when we're looking at this, we need to think about what is my total at the bottom? Remember, I asked, we want to know the proportion of calm meditators and calm non-meditators. So we were looking at this right here. What was our calm meditators versus calm non-meditators? All right. Let me know if you have any questions about that. We need to be careful readers when we're reading, usually the question will be a little bit more obvious as to what way we're going to be traveling and adding our data. If we want to look at, sometimes it would ask a question of what's the total, like how many people were calm out of the total, what proportion of people were calm out of the total people surveyed, that would be 45 over 97. It would might say like what percent of the total and then that's really easy. You remember that this would be your total at the bottom. And then what percent of people were calm out of the total? This is the number that were calm. We have to be careful readers when we're solving these problems. So let's look at this question right here. It says, researchers once surveyed college students on their Facebook use. The following two-way table displays data for the sample of students who responded to the survey. Then it asks approximately what percent of students in the 18 to 22 age group use Facebook? So we're looking for what percent of students, so what percent of students in the 18 to 22 age group use Facebook? So right here, we know that our total is going to be right here. Our total is going to be students in 18 to 22. And then right here is going to be the number that use Facebook. Sometimes our questions will be in the form like what percent of so think of back to maybe seventh grade when you were writing proportions and you have is and over of. That sometimes gives you a clue on how you should write your percent or your proportion. So right here, if we look at that, let's see. It said approximately what percent of students in the 18 to 22 age group use Facebook? So let's look at our two-way table that we have right here. Can you take a minute to think about how many students were surveyed what is the total number of students surveyed that were 18 to 22 years old? Awesome. I agree. 82 students were surveyed and they were 18 to 22 years old. So we know that we have right here, 82 students were 18 to 22 years old. Now let's look at our two-way table. Can you figure out of those people that were 18 to 22, how many of them used Facebook? How many were 18 to 22 and used Facebook? Think about our battleship game. How many were 18 to 22? We're going to look this way. And then we're going to think about how many people used Facebook. And we're going to see where they met, meet up right here. So 78. So our proportion would be 78 over 82. And then it asked for what is the percent? A way to find the percent, you would do 78 divided by 82. That gets us 0 0.95. So we can display as a fraction. We could display it as a decimal. 
or this problem asked us to display a certain way as a percent. So we take our decimal and then we multiply by 100 and then we get 95%. So we know that approximately what percent of students in the 18 to 22 age group use Facebook? We knew that there are 95% of our students use Facebook. Please let me know if you have any questions making a relative frequency table. Remember, you need to think about what did it ask for my total, and then what number am I going to put above for my top part. Think about how you're writing percents for how many times things happen. Have a great day.